Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about using my color wheel on 10 by 10 inch watercolor paper, my daily warm ups, and this will be landscapes. And I like to use my color wheel because I don't use green in my landscapes. We all go to the green. We make our own greens, which makes it more natural. I'm gonna show you what works for me. So I'm just gonna do one landscape using this color wheel. So what I wanna show you is that this is not gonna be a completely done landscape, but at least I'll show you the steps that I take to eventually get to the end. So it's pretty simple. I use four colors right out of my color wheel and no browns, no blacks, <laughs> and, and no greens. So in this particular case, just to let you know, this says dominant color. I'm gonna be using this dominant blue-green color. The focal point will be this red because it says focal point. Now the other two colors, violet and yellow, the two spice colors, and you notice that that they're closer to the focal point. So that's all going to be together. But the most important part is the dominant color is that. So I'm taking a paper towel, paper towels, damping it a little bit, taking that color and rubbing it over the entire painting so I know it's the dominant color. All right, again, I'm not going to be able to complete the entire painting, but at least you'll see the step-by-steps. So here's the dominant color. The focal point will be red. So let's put it right in there, right off the bat. I'm gonna have a low horizon line for me. Probably a little bit upside down. So there's the red. See, it doesn't take up the whole painting. Here's your red. Now the two spice colors will be violet Add a little bit of violet, and it always goes around the focal point color, just like that. I'm really overemphasizing all of this, of course, so you can see it, right? And the other color would be this yellow. Whoa, yellow! Can you imagine a little bit of yellow in your landscape here? Oh, that's what kicks it up. It's just enough. Oh boy, just enough. So now I'm going to do, show you what I do next. Since this is still nice and wet, I can just take a wet paper towel. See? And create these clouds. It's just white. Oh. And because I'm using the only four colors in this, it helps to hold the whole painting together. I'm gonna make this darker down here. Whoa. It's still blue. It's not exactly that blue. And that's the point I wanted to make. It doesn't have to be exactly that blue. But I'm sticking with just four colors. If I start introducing other colors, you know, it starts to fall apart, I think, I think. And that's the point of this particular video. I'm gonna add a little bit of dark black in there. Ah, oh, I feel like this kicks in. I'm gonna turn it around can see what I'm doing here. So I have the dominant color is blue. The focal point is red. It's pretty obvious red. In case you miss it, I'll even make it even more red. All right, add a little bit of yellow over here. Just very little bit of yellow. Okay, and of course a little bit of purple in here. There you go. So it's basically using those four colors. I wanted to show you this. Seems to be a lot of question, how does my color wheel work? So I'll do the whole thing all the way around the whole color wheel. This might be green, this might be red dominant, this might be another color dominant, but the point is you stick with just those four colors and it works every time. Just to let you know, I follow my own color wheel. I have one of these on every one of my tables here. I have eight tables in my studio to paint on. And no matter what the subject is, abstract, landscapes, Florals, I follow the color wheel. Dominant color is usually 
oh gosh, a whole lot, 80%, right? And 10% would be the focal point. And the two spice colors are 5%. Makes it really easy for me. It's one less thing I need to worry or think about in my studio. So I can actually expands my creativity if I stick with those four colors. Hey, thanks again for watching. I hope you get a chance to share this with all your friends on YouTube, my own Bob Blast channels. Take care and keep your brushes wet. Take care, I'll see you on the next one.